Good morning. We just found a cricket in our house. So the crickets, they'll like keep us up at night. They're, They're so, so loud. The way that I even discovered that there was a cricket in our house is I heard the front door open and I come running over to these stairs and Caleb and Laura are standing next to it. These two are little partners in crime. Where do you think you're headed? We opened the door so a cricket could come out. Oh. oh. We are going to have to get a big lock at the top of that door <laughs> just to keep us safe. But anyway, more important updates. Poor little Miss Elise, her ankle is not feeling that much better. It's feeling worse. It is feeling a little bit worse. How you doing, Lise? Um, it's, <clears throat> um, I like it when I'm reading books. You're reading no. some books? Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? The only way she can move is if she's hopping on one foot. And if she needs to go kind of far, someone needs to hold her hand while she's hopping on one foot. Yeah, I've oh. seen you helping her today. And has Daddy carried you a bit? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so we read some books. Then we decided to come over here and attempt to all color together. Elise loves to color. And <laughs> Laura is trying. Laura is trying. Anyway, I'm actually really excited because I printed off an adult coloring page for me. So let me show it to you guys. Doesn't that look fun? It looks really relaxing to me, so I want to try it. The question is how long she'll let me last. All right, well, Elise finished hers up. Doesn't that look awesome? And this is how far I got on mine. It just, it takes a long time. There's a lot of detail to it, so. Anyway, it's gonna be fun. So I'm excited about my own coloring pages because it gives me an excuse to sit down and be present with them while they're coloring. Usually when they color, that's my time to go clean the kitchen and do other things, but this really helps me remember to sit down and be present, even if it's just for a few minutes. It's good talking time when you're coloring, so. Anyway, I've heard it's good for relaxing too. Is somebody calling your baby? Hello? Hello? Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's Yep, mom just dropped a big thing of strawberries on the floor. Good thing I mopped yesterday. So I was eating the strawberries. We were all eating the strawberries, and then Kendra's like, oh, by the way, those all fell on the floor. I'm like, oh, well, that's good to know. And we were talking about this uh, five-second rule um, I had a question for you guys. Do you follow the five second rule? Like, do you eat stuff even if it's on the ground? And, uh, or do you not? And why? So. so for me, it totally depends. In this scenario, I mopped my kitchen floor yesterday. They fell all over. I picked them up immediately. I washed them off real good. I'm not gonna let that whole thing go to waste. When we say it depends, like it depends on What's the Isaac floor think? and it depends on the type of food. It's true. Okay, what do you think, Isaac? We the 1,000 subscribers take that <laughs> fell on the ground. Yeah, and that hey, was moist. <laughs> those are our family secrets, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> we did still end up eating that cake. Oh my gosh! Okay, so let us know for you. Would you have eaten the strawberries after they fell on the floor? Isaac came up to me because he really wanted me to do something with him. What was it you wanted me to do? Family search. Family search. So there's a website, familysearch.org, where you can like look up your family tree. And Isaac loves it. He loves looking at his ancestors and how it's listed out. And so I'm proud of you that you want to do that. So we did that for a little bit. It was fun. Well, I'm still waking up from my nap. Elise wanted to come and help mom with dinner. And Laura, of course... Wasn't going to let any of that happen without her sitting up here as well. So I'm going to stand here just to make sure she doesn't die. Very important. And you're making this like white chicken broccoli it's lasagna? One of our favorites. It's white chicken lasagna. It's really good. It is really good. You just want to. So one of the layers we add a whole bag of frozen broccoli to, but the other layers we just keep normal with the sauce. It's a freezer meal, that's why it's in a bag. So instead of putting it into a bowl, I just defrost it in the bag and then clip the tip and then squeeze it out. That's what's easy about this meal. Yeah. And it's so easy. good. I mean, this is really one of my favorite meals. It's so good. 
So I put Caleb to bed in his like play clothes, and I knew that he was going to read yeah. some books, evidenced by over there. And apparently he also decided to change into his church clothes, which means that in his closet, he climbed up the bins to get the stuff off the hangers. Did you put your church clothes on? <laughs> what in the world? The color's a little, a little Hi. silly. Did you want to wear your church clothes to nap time? Look, you buttoned it. All good. He, he went to bed in. This is what he went to bed in. <laughs> I didn't hear him. Normally we hear yeah. that kind of stuff. But then you went back to bed, which is the most important part of this story. Hi. Hi. Caleb. Hi. Do you hear her? Hi. Aww. Snuggle bugs. And she wants the blanket on them while oh, they lay down. The lay down. I'll get you guys the blanket. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, good night, children. If that'll last a while, let's get out of here. We'll come back and at least Laura will be in her church clothes too. <laughs> Good one, Dad. <laughs> All right, so that left foot is still not working out. So what we did is we actually talked to an orthopedic surgeon and a podiatrist that we know. Oh, and we are taking her to a children's specialty urgent care in the area Whoa. to have it evaluated. So we decided that I'm going to take Elise, but I also took a stroller so I can move her around. So yeah. good luck with the kiddos. Hopefully it's not broken. We're all checked in, and Elise is pretty excited because what they put you in? Yeah. Uh, what's it called? A uh, wheelchair. A wheelchair. Let's see your setup. So, of course, Elise has to try it. This may very well entertain her for the whole wait. Don't go so fast. Slow down. <laughs> All right, so the verdict is in and Elise just has a sprain. Yay, I'm so grateful we don't have to deal with more doctor's appointments and a cast for weeks and I'm so glad you are gonna be feeling better soon. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we came here to just like check it out and see if it's that. Yeah. And if it was like that, we needed like, it needed to take longer. Yeah, but luckily it's just a sprain. Yeah. Yep. So the doctor said to wear the brace for a few days, up to a week, and that hopefully it would heal up. And so I hope she can still go to her activities tomorrow and by next week be dancing and playing away. Mm-hmm. That's good to have little Lisey back. Could not get this guy to go to sleep. He wanted to wait to see his sister. What do you think? Good. What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's a brace. Oh. So we're going to try to get these little goobers to bed. <laughs> Want to give us a J-House out? J-House out. J-House out. <laughs> J-House out. Push this out. Touchdown. Good catch, bud. Good job.